Hello everyone, time for another Porterhouse Plays World of Tanks. I believe this is episode 6. So we're going to be having some fun today with my M4A3E8 out in the field. Uh, we're going to do some random stuff. Uh, hopefully the audio is better this time around. Um, my last couple videos I was kind of leaning back while I was playing. So I was further from the mic at times than I should have been, so some of it didn't come in too clear. And I do apologize for that. I will try to do better in the future. So anyway, on with the show. All right, everyone. Today is another World of Tanks Porterhouse Plays. And uh, still in my uh, M4A3E8 Sherman. We're going to see how we do with this max. It's been a while since i played this one, especially from this end, so we'll see how it goes. And I'm kind of digging this one guy's name. Hammer time. I agree. I would love to use that for one of my t World of Tanks videos, but YouTube would get all pissed off. And copyright strike. Okay, I'm going to let these heavies roll in first. Just because I know there's going to be a bunch of heavies on the other side coming in uh, hot on that side, so... I'm going to let them roll in and then scoot around the edges and see if I can uh, contribute to the battle or pick somebody off on my own. We'll see how it goes. Oh, see, they're already taking damage. Alright, I'm going to need to try to circle around. Nope, okay. So I wasn't sure if we could get around on that side. Well, you can, but I don't think anybody's coming that way. Alright, see, I was correct. There's two KVs and an M6. And, uh, yeah, that'd be a bit more than my tank could handle. Uh, there's stuff all over the place. Uh, I think this gap is behind a hill. Still making me a tad nervous, though, because they could just pop over shoot a hole in my tank and then take off. Come on, KV. Stick your nose up there. You too, M6. Oh, there's a medium I can smoke, too, if I can get a beat on it. Huh. Nobody? Really? Type 34. Not a tank you should be running out in the first line with. Even a Sherman, which has, I think, heavier armor. Um, not something you want to go stick out in the... Uh... Yep, he got smoked. Oh, oh, that shit, too late. Oh, those KV-1s are just taking a beating. Hide in this bush. Hide in the shrub and ambush him. Oh, oh, I'm so punny. Anyway, um, I'm gonna see. Maybe I should sneak around see if I can get a drop on them. But I'm a little worried about these two guys up on the hill. Oh, that Type 34 is still there. I thought he got destroyed already. That light tank is making me nervous. I, am, I just know he's gonna pop over a hill. Oh, hello. Ha. Oh, and there's that KV-1 I thought got destroyed. He just, uh... Nope. Okay. Alright, well, you're gonna regret... Oh, if Hammer Time didn't get him first. Swing and a miss. Hammer Time, out of the way. Got him. Got two! Awesome! Ah, sheep! See, I knew that guy was gonna do that. 
No, however, he did not do a lot of damage. Itty bitty tank. After this uh, light, you know, if that uh, one uh, doesn't go first. Oh, good point. Okay. Well, there's a medium and a church hill. And I actually do pretty well against church hills with, with a Sherman. So I'll bet you I can't smoke them. Hey! Alright, Mr. Churchill. Yes, pay attention to other people. Oh, somebody get beat me to it. But I did track him, so he couldn't move. All right, everyone. As you saw, that was an exceptionally good game for me. I had a lot of fun. Uh, the strategy that I've been adapting where I follow the heavies around and then just try to circle them and keep uh, other tanks off their backs and then picking off uh, you know, the stray tank here and there, trying to surprise them, uh, it was working out pretty well for me. And it's a good strategy for a medium tank. Uh, unless they're going up against other mediums that are not really a toe-to-toe, -to -toe, you know, slugger, but uh, the Sherman does pretty good. So anyway, if you enjoyed my video, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you have not already done so. I will see you all at the next Porterhouse Plays.